Hello and welcome to this module number three of climate clock assembly and display. You know, we are all looking forward to assemble our own climate clocks. In this module, very quickly, we are going to look at the components that are going to be used in the climate clock. Okay, so let's begin. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. This is a graphical way what climate clock is going to show us. It is going to show us the time and in terms of time there are five fields. You will see how many years are left, how many days are left, how many hours, how many minutes, how many seconds. So this is how graphical it is going to look like and in reality when you assemble all the component your climate clock is going to look something like this. Again, it will have not only those five parameters of years, days, hours, minutes and seconds, but it will have one extra field of temperature because this is 1.5 degree centigrade clock. It will also show you in blue color 1.5 degree centigrade. So there are six fields that will be there. You are going to see the year. So short form of year is YRAs is going to be there. Days is full DAYAs. Then you will have hours only H for minutes only M and for second only s. So this is how the climate clock display will be there. There are various components that we need. First of all, we need LED display, right? Where all this information is going to come and for controlling the data. Where LED display will have many, many LEDs, by the way. You know, there are hundreds of LEDs. How do we control this? So we need LED controller. Now, LED controller and board display requires power. So we require power supply. Then what we also need is special connections. You know, there is a FRC connection required between LED controller and LED display. We need power cables between power supply and controller. We need a power cable between power supply and LED. And to put it together, we need some kind of body, some kind of housing. So these are all basic components which are again listed here in this table and with their functions. So there are mainly five components LED P10 display, I'll come to this, what is P10 display? LED controller, this controller name is HDWF1. We need power supply, we need connectors, FRC connectors and other power supply connectors, power cables and the body itself. So let me start showing you the components one by one, how they are going to look like. Well, so the first component, the most important component is this LED display. Now this is called P10 display. You see there are lots of LEDs here and the back side of this looks something like this where there are various connections. Uh, we will look more details about this component later. Then uh, let me show you the controller well. The controller is something like this. So it's a very tiny piece of electronics but there are many ICs which are there. There are many connectors which are there. It looks something like this. We will get into the details. I just want to have a show you. This is how the LED HD controller looks like HDWF1 it is called. Then we are going to have power supply. The power supply will have 230 volt input and 5 volt output. It is going to look something like this. There can be more variation in power supply but just to get a feel it is going to look like this. The power supply we then need a special cable. So it is uh, called FRC cable and this is for the data that we are going to transmit between LED display and the controller and there are 16 pins again I will come into the more details there are 16 pins in it and FRC cable looks like this other than this we are going to need various power cables uh, power has to be supplied there's a relay made connectors here and this will go to the LED display as well as the controller and uh, externally we need power supply so this will be 230 volt and finally uh, there will be this power that will be given to this uh, board Okay, so these are the basic component that I wanted to have a look at it. Finally, there will be a frame that is on your screen. This frame, within this frame, we are going to put all the components together and eventually we will see a clock that is working and that is going to display you the time. So finally, when we are going to put all this component together, we will get our climate clock and the climate clock is going to look something like this. All right. So it's going to be very, very simple exercise and I'm sure all of you are looking forward to it. So that's it. In this model number three, we have seen what are the various components and uh, let us go to the next module. Now what we do is we will look at each of this component in little bit more details and I will show you 
what are the input parameters, what is the output, where are the connections, are the power connections, how does it look like, we are going to look at little bit more carefully each of this component. So in next module, the module number 4, I am going to show you the LED display itself and how does it look like and what are the input and output connections. So stay tuned, see you in the module number 4, thank you.